Hi, John here, and I've got an unboxing video. Um, very, very surprised how quick this has arrived, as it only got into the United Kingdom yesterday. Um, and it's managed to get here from, it normally lands in Gatwick or Heathrow, and then it's sent out to the local distribution centres. But I've got the band box, which has surprised me a lot, because normally it does take couple of weeks to get here so that is awesome that that's got here so quick and that was shipped out on the 28th so 28 29 30 31st first second six days so that is really good it's only took six days and as I said it only got into London yesterday so that was really quick. So have the black paper and more black paper. And we'll start off with the patch. Vigo the Carpathian, I think it is, from Ghostbusters 2. Um I can remember watching that film growing up as a kid, so that brings back a lot of memories. Um, I've not stuck any of my patches on that I've got so far on anything, but I think that's quite nice. Um, I'll be keeping that in one of my boxes up there. Where to go now? I'll go with the McLovin replica ID. I remember watching Superbad, absolutely love that film. Um, I've also enjoyed watching the films after that um, that actor's been in, which was Role Models was one of my favourites. And I also liked Paul, who some of the other, the, one, I think it's one of the police officers, um, Seth Rogen, he was the voice of Paul. Um, so I've seen a few other things. Dark Matter Props. Bambox edition. The Witcher Wild Hunt Witcher Wolf Medallion. And a little back for it. It's quite cool, got red eyes, got the wolf open its mouth, where's the back, got quite a good chain on it and the clasp at the top. Um, the Witcher, never heard of it until I saw this as a theme for the box, um, from what I can understand it's a game, um, but I think that is quite a cool looking thing if you're into the film, into the games even. Um, quite a nice detail on the mouth. You can see the teeth. But yeah, I think that's quite a cool item if you're into that game. Um, that is brilliant. Um, I've never heard of it, never seen it, no idea what it's about, but still a cool item. That I may trade if anyone's interested, purely for the fact that I don't really know what it's from. I'm not that interested in the theme. Um, but if there was something else that I wanted, then I'd probably be happy to trade that. But again, it is a nice item if you're into it. Just got the pin. I've got Bender Bending Rodriguez. That is quite cool. I like that. Um, I have seen the others and I do like all of them. Um, but I do like that one, so any of them are fine. 
Sorry, the little one's eating and he's just making some funny noises. You okay? Yeah. I think he's stuffing too much in. I'm not. You are? I don't know. Right, now, this I think is absolutely awesome. The only thing I've noticed is the signature. There are so many differences with how they've done these. Some you can see, it's, I mean, I'll show you mine, that's Tara Reed. But then you've got others where you've got Tara and then you've got a separation, then it says Reed, and you can see it a bit different. So, it is a little bit different to the others. Um, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed in the item, I like the item, but I'm probably more disappointed with the signature of how it looks compared to some of the others where it says to Tara Reed as two words. But I've got my certificate, so it's signed by Tara Reed. Absolutely love the American Pie films that she was in. So yeah, it's still a nice item, just a bit disappointed with that, but I have seen others that are similar to that. So, Sharknado, never seen it. Um, am I going to watch it? After this, probably yes, because it has got me interested in what the film is about now. Um, so we'll have a look, see what the film is like. And I think this is supposed to be a second one or something else now as well. And I got the Joker um, print. Um, as the two, I would have preferred the Samurai Batman, um, but it's not too bad. Yet. It does look quite. It does look okay, but I would have preferred the other one purely for the fact that I do prefer Batman. This is number 867 out of 2000. Um, so that would possibly be up for trade if anyone wants to trade for the Samurai one. Let's go through the booklet. Uh, the pins. Um, Bender Rodriguez. Has a release of 3,000. Dr. John Zoidberg has a release of 500, and Leonard Nimoy has a release of 250. Uh, got that one. Wouldn't have minded either of those. Probably would have preferred that because I did like the actor, and I was a Star Trek fan. And um, there's the item from The Witcher. That there shows what I mean about the autograph. Uh, you've got Tara and then Reed as two separates rather than one together, but it is what it is. The new horror box which comes out this month, um, issued at the end I believe it is. Um, the two prints you could have got, I would have preferred that one because I like Batman a bit more. I know it features the Joker, but I like the style of that as well. Um, the McLovin replica ID. Uh, the Vigo patch. Vigo the Carpathian. Um, there's also a contest on the Bandbox community at the minute. Um, they're asking who your favourite Star Wars actor is and if you are picked you win a signed Boba Fett picture signed by Jeremy Bullock who played Boba Fett. There's a bit about the one-up system. Um, I've not had one for a while. I did get one when they first brought it back which was quite good. Um, a bit about the Bambox community. So get yourself over and check out on Facebook the official Bambox community. Um, 
enter the contest. It's a PSA, is it PSA, JSA um, approved authorised signature even. It's been authenticated, so go and have a look at that. Um, so yeah, um, I do like everything that's in there. Um, I would have preferred the different version of the print, but it's still a nice print. It does look nice, but I'm more into the um, Batman. I do like the shark. It's signed. I do like the actress. It's just a shame it's, in my opinion, not the same signature on the others. I understand that they probably they've what, done 3,000 of these so this could have been near the end of the run she's getting a bit fed up and a bit bored which isn't really any excuse when you're getting paid to sign all these things I mean I imagine it takes a long time to do them all but you're still getting paid and so a bit of consistency from the actor or actress would help but that's out of the bandbox control if that's how that person signs it the pin, love that, love future armour Vigo the Carpathian patch, I like that. The McLovin ID, I think that's quite a cool replica. Why? Date of birth, 1981, God. Expired 2008, 1981, I was born in 1980. And when, I was old, when that film came out, I was old enough to buy alcohol, so I don't know why I put it as 1981. Mind you, then, yeah, it's fake ID, yeah, it would have made it sound older, yeah. It's me being silly, sorry. The Witcher item, I do like it, but not my thing. I'm not a fan of The Witcher, not sure what it is. All in all, yep, great box, really like it, no themes, it just gives them so much opportunity to put in even more things. Um, put the black paper back in, so I'll keep that up there. So yeah, thank you for watching and I will be back hopefully with another unboxing video very soon or an unpackaging video as I've got quite a few packages coming. I think I've got one left from eBay and I've got two loot bolt orders. Um, I will have a third at some point because I went online, they do a, every Friday they do a loot crate live for about 10-15 minutes um, where they go through some news about Loot Crate and they go through some current topics. Um, I've been entering for ages in their competitions they run during the, the session and finally I got picked yesterday um, and I won a £25 Loot Crate voucher, Loot Vault voucher even. So I'm going to wait till there's a bit more stock on there because I've looked and I've ordered what I want so far. It's nothing else I want, so I will wait until they do another update. I also have a discount code for the delay in processing and delivering the orders. As one was ordered over a month ago, one was ordered about four, three weeks ago, or two weeks ago, and they've still not done anything with them. Um, I think they're a bit backed up in the warehouse because they had a 50% offer, and 50% off even offer. So I think a lot of people took that up and it took a lot of the stock. Um, they're having trouble um, meeting the orders because it's been so busy. Which is fine, I understand that, that's perfectly fine. Um, they've given me a 30% discount code. So I'll use that with the $25 voucher when there's um, some stuff that I want. Um, maybe wait till after this month's loot crate comes. Maybe give it another couple of weeks and I'll see what I can get. But thank you for watching and I'll be back very soon. Bye for now.